Hi guys, I'm Anupama and this video is going to be on fitness inspiration, fitness motivation and what can keep you going in your fitness journey. Those who do not know me, I have lost 14 kgs in a span of 3 months and since then I have been maintaining my weight. See, even maintaining weight is not that easy. It takes self-discipline, consistency and persistence over the time. The similar thing that is required for fat loss journey. So there are a lot many of my friends, they come to me and they ask me, Hey Anupama, tell me, how do you get the motivation? How do I get motivation? How do I find motivation to start with? I think most of us goes wrong here. See, fitness is a long term journey and willpower and motivation are finite. So if you have only one reason to go to gym, either is internal motivation or external motivation, then probably you are bound to gain weight even after losing it. I'll tell you why. Let's imagine a situation where you decided to lose 20 kgs. Today is day one, you went to gym, you felt really good. You started eating gym on a regular basis, you started eating healthy diet. It's been 15 days already, everything is going well and good. And one fine day, your boss at office shouted at you. Somebody yelled at you. And you came back home, you felt like, no, I, I just don't want to go to gym. I want to eat something good like pizza. I want to eat donut just to compensate your bad day. And that's eat away all your motivation and willpower in one go. All of a sudden, it becomes so difficult to stick to plan that you made just 15 days ago. The pizza starts looking better than those chicken and broccoli that you were having for last few days now. Your one cheap meal becomes your entire cheap day. Next day, you again eat another junk food. And that process never stops. It's actually the beginning of the end. And now it's been a week and you don't feel motivated enough to go to gym at all. You actually start finding like thousand reasons to skip gym. You start feeling like I can skip a gym to attend an evening party with friend in a pub where you can get your happy meal or a free drinks. So the point that I want to make here is that when your motivation juices are high, you can get things done easily. You can go to gym, you can eat healthy diet, but what about your bad days? It is what you do when you don't feel like going to gym and you don't feel like eating healthy. And that matters the most. See guys, everybody has bad days. Life happens and we all have something to deal with. That is where discipline comes into play. Discipline is what you want right now and what you want the most. And discipline comes from having a strong why in your life. You have to find why for yourself, why you want to change, why you want to start your fitness journey. Find out why for yourself. I will tell you what is my why. I want to go on treks even at age of 40-50. I see a lot of women struggling to lift their grocery bag. I don't want to be that woman up at the age of 40 or I say 50. I don't want my health to be hindered in living my hobby. Of course, everyone has one trigger to begin the fitness journey. And I also had one trigger. In 2017, when I had to sit for my placement, I had to buy one shot. I could not get anything in store because nothing was available in my size. So actually, I had to get it stitched from a tailor. And then I realized like, okay, I cannot wear things of my choice. Also, I started having this knee pain at really early age. Then I thought like, okay, this is it. I need to start my fitness journey like right now. That day I started and I never looked back. Once you have decided why for yourself, now it's time to set goals. See guys, you have to set realistic goals for yourself. In our society, there's a habit of instant gratification. Everybody wants everything like right now, right away. But guys, you have to get away from this mindset. See, whatever goal you're setting for yourself, be it muscle gain or weight loss, you need to work upon it. And you have to give some time to see the result. You know what is the problem with setting unrealistic goal? If you would set unrealistic goal for yourself, your motivation will go away. Because you won't see result in 10 days, you won't see result in 15 days. Uh, have you heard this quote, Rome was not built in a day? Similarly, even if you want to build muscle or lose weight, it won't happen in a day. You have to give time. See guys, if you're losing 1 kg per week, in 12 weeks, you're gonna lose 12 kgs. And that's when you will see that it's giving result. Then the difference will be noticeable. So you have to give at least 3 months to see the result. And of course, you have to do right things in these 3 months to see the results. 
Now that you have found why for yourself and you have set your realistic goal, now is time for action. Guys, you need to show up every day. I will tell you what I mean by this. It's not that every day would be good day. And there would be bad days where you would feel like skipping gym, eating those junk food during your process. Action on those days matters the most. Action on those days separate people who see great result and people who see mediocre result or no results. People who get good result are those people who push themselves even in their bad days. You need to be consistent. You need to trust the process. You have to get out of the comfort zone and you have to show up every day. I understand that even uh, even if you have discipline and even if you have found why for yourself, sometimes it really becomes difficult to stay motivated. But when you know that something is given result, then you will be more motivated to keep going. Sometimes motivation is internal, sometimes external. The one best way to get the motivation is to click photos of your progress. So you can take photos day one and then if you will see after 15 days after following your diet and your uh, workout routine, you will see the difference. And when you will see the difference, it will keep you going. So that's what I do. So whenever I started my fitness journey, I took a photo. So every 15 days, I used to take photos to see the change in my body, the change in the inches. So that can really keep you motivated. And I also understand that sometimes you need external trigger also. So for that, you can actually use internet as a medium. So internet can be bad also and internet can be bliss also. It depends on how you use it. And it really worked for me. So I started posting my workout photos into my Instagram. I started posting uh, my transformation into Instagram. And I got a lot of response from my people. They used to praise me like, wow, that's some transformation. So it actually gives me a lot of external, you know, uh, motivation and trigger to keep myself going even during my bad days. You can also do one thing, maintain a logbook. In my phone, in Note, I maintain uh, a logbook of my inches. So you can maintain that and you can see every 15 days or 20 days, like how it is changing when you are following certain diet or certain workout plan. And if you think that it's not working for you, you can actually change it. Because even if you have found why for yourself, even if you have set realistic goal for yourself, or if you are consistent, but if you are not doing the right thing, probably you will not see the results. It's very important to maintain log of your fitness progress. So guys, this was all about the fitness motivation, fitness inspiration and what can keep you going even in your bad days. So if you have any doubt on this video, you can mention in the comment box below. If you want me to make videos on any particular content, do let me know and also let me know what's your motivation. So till then, bye-bye, say holy and say bye.